Hey guys, Tiffany here. Want to show you what the patio pond setup looked like last year. So on the left, the round pond were rummy nose tetras. They didn't do very well. They didn't breed. The round pond on the right was mixed guppies or mutt guppies. They did really great, but I had too many plants in there and really not enough water. The round ponds are around 35 gallons and it really just need a larger water volume. So then the larger tub at the back is a hundred gallon Rubbermaid tub that had long fin white clouds in it. So this is what my setup was like for the pond season, the summer of 2020. And that was my very first pond season. So now let's see, I took down the round ponds, but I left the white clouds up and now we have to reset it. So today we are taking down the pond. It has been set up about a year. I think it was early April in 2020 that I set it up and now it is almost mid-April 2021. So we're going to take this white cloud, long thin white cloud pond apart and reset some things for this year because I'm going to do some things differently. I'd like to point out that what made it through the winter, we had a really hard winter. We had a ice and snow more so than we normally would in the Nashville area. What could possibly go wrong? It's fine. There is, there's bubbles coming up. Man, it's already frozen over. And we have duckweed and creeping Jenny that has made it through. And then these have come back. I don't remember what these are called right offhand. I have to look that up. So, honestly, I do not know if there are any fish that are alive. I know a few died. So I do not know if there are any white clouds in here that are alive. I think there may be one or two, but I'm not sure. I've seen, I've seen maybe one or two. Anyway, we'll find out. So, Summer Tubbing 2021 begins officially today. Do you know what this little creature is? I'm afraid it's a bad creature to have in a pond. I don't know if you can see it, it's in the middle of the screen, it's not moving. Oops. It may need to be under the water. I don't know. Do you see it? It's probably easier to tell what it is if it's moving. It's not a fish. I don't think. It doesn't look like a fish I, that I intended for it to be in there. Ugh. Anyway, if you know what that is, uh, let me know. Oh, and side note. We've just, we've just barely begun. I think the snails are doing well. Look at the bottom of the sponge filter. Focus, focus, focus. Look at all these little snail. What, I, they look like snail eggs to me. Yep, all those snail eggs on the bottom of this thing. Okay. What are these worm looking things? Um, vaguely remember having a piece of wood and tying a spawning mop and there's like wormy things all in it in the spawning mop that was sunk to the bottom that's like really gross so yeah they're alive they're moving they're probably not happy I took them out of the water oh no it's sprinkling um, yeah, what are these wormy things? I don't, ooh, there's a little one that's moving. They are not happy. And some of these snails are having a bad day too. There's a bunch of snails on this wood. Um, I went ahead and threw some wood in here. Threw some wood in the pond that I really got for my large, I don't have it yet, aquarium. So I am reclaiming the 
wood. There's three big pieces and then there's one a little bit shorter, but still a nice piece of wood. Um, I'm reclaiming. So are these guys gonna die? Are they beneficial? Are they bad? Ooh, there's a bunch of them. They're starting to move around. They're trying to find water. I don't know what to do with them. So we found two white clouds. These guys are gonna be really cold hardy and I'm gonna get more. Um, but yeah, two survivors. These guys survived over the winter. I'm kind of surprised that any of them did. But that's all that's left. I'll get some more from my local fish store. Long fin white clouds and add them to these two. And we'll be breeding long fin white clouds outside again. Here too. So we gotta figure out what we're gonna do. Oh, all the muck. Oh, all the muck. Uh, the net and the muck. I'm trying to get the, uh, make sure that there were no in the beginning, I was taking out buckets I could see in the water. Um, as it got closer to the bottom, I couldn't see in the in the bucket of water because it was all stirred up and there was just more stuff in it. So I got to figure out what to do with these plants to save them. And then we do have one. Um, I didn't know what I was doing, but I put these in a bucket with some water in the garage and one did not make it but this one is alive i don't remember what this is called um yeah i could guess but it had pretty orange flowers i can probably find a picture or a video i have a pond problem Honey girl, I have a serious space issue in my courtyard. Okay, the little round pond on the right is not staying. I was just setting the plants in the driftwood and the whatever in it. So the round one, it, it, that's what I had last year. Okay, so in right in front of us, that's my 100 gallon Rubbermaid tub. That's what my white clouds were in last year and up until today. Behind that is 150 gallon. Yes, the white clouds are going in a 150. In a, in a, in a 150, yes, they are getting upgraded. Uh, there's just not space. Unless I want to lose patio furniture, I want to put the white cloud tub, which is now going to be a 150 gallon, in a spot that I can leave it all year long, not move it, not wish I had put it a little bit further over and it not be in the way and not have to rearrange the furniture. Last year, in order to fit all the ponds in, I moved one of the lounge chairs into the yard, which is fake turf. And it wasn't a problem necessarily. I just didn't really care for it being out there. So I was trying to find space for both of these large tubs and I'm just not finding space. To have them both, not situated the way they are now, but situated in any reasonable way on this patio makes it look like there's way too much pond and way too little space around the pond that's not pond. Too much pond, not enough other stuff. So, I've been debating. It's one reason I wanted to do this. Well, two reasons. I wanted to see if any white clouds were alive, and I'm really thrilled that any of them made it through the winter. And kind of sad the others didn't, but I knew I knew that some of them died because I found them. Um, I was going to put guppies in the 100 gallon. And I just cannot figure out how to situate these two out here in a way that doesn't look super de duper crowded without moving any of the patio furniture. And I have to pull the patio furniture away from the houses because I don't want anything right up against my neighbor's house. Don't want anything uh, right up against my house either. And my dogs, I know this is crazy, but my dogs run this yard when they feel like it, when they get a wild hair, they run this yard and they chase each other and they run up against the buildings. So I have to set the furniture away from the 
building for numerous reasons. Anyway, I think I'm going to get rid of the 100 gallon pond and not have guppies outside, which kind of pains me, but um, in a way I'm relieved. There's so much, so much work in having fish. Um, what work? Oh, you want to play, honey? You want to play with that? You want to play with the... Oh, what is that? Another fish, because I don't have enough fish to take care of, right? I need more. You are so silly. You want it? You want the fish. Okay, let me show you. Okay, while well, she gets that, I think I'm gonna, I've been debating, been debating. Um, the light's not on, but you've seen the baby angels from my new pair of blue angelfish. So those are the babies, yes, it's dark. I didn't turn the light on, wasn't planning on showing you this. Um, these used to be in the 50 gallon in the kitchen. These are Kamaka rainbows and a big angelfish. Uh, this bottom tank used to be guppies, so I had to move things around. I never really explain, explained it, but I had to move the mixed guppies out of this bottom tank and then move the kamakas from the 50 over here and move all the angels and all the angels. Okay, so that leaves where are the mixed guppies. The mixed guppies are in a tub in the floor getting ready to go in the pond that I was resetting. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Decisions. So yes, I know they're crowded. This was temporary. Um, they think I'm going to feed them. I cannot add any tanks and in a way I'm relieved to have less to take care of. I think I'm gonna sell the mixed guppies. They are mixed guppies from a few different sources. And then there's also some from, yeah, there, there's also some from the strains that I had that I downsized. Oh, that's what I forgot. Shush. Miko, we don't need your input. Please, please, please. Okay, Meek, you good bird? Hello. Okay. What was in the top tank, this was my guppy rack. So there were mixed guppies in the bottom and there were two strains of guppies in the top with a divider. As much as the dividers are great, they don't work well with teeny tiny fish like guppy fry. <clears throat> anyway, so I got rid of the two strains that were in the top. I just am more focused on breeding angels and rainbows. And I really like the guppies, but I'll tell you one thing I don't like about them. They don't live that long, some of them. And I'm comparing that to like an angel fish or a rainbow fish that could live, what, 10 years or so, give or take? I don't know if that's completely accurate. Um, somebody's throwing toys at me. You want me to throw that? Now you want this? See, and then the, the more time I'm doing maintenance on aquariums and ponds, oh, she caught that. I can't play with my dogs. And it makes me feel bad that she's over here throwing toys at me. So, um, <laughs> I'm rambling. But the point is, the, the point is, I think I'm going to get rid of the 100 gallon pond tub and sell the guppies. Sell both. There's just not space. And I know, it just, you 
I do everything and I've got baby angelfish coming out my ears. You know? And then there's birds. I have a zoo. Welcome to my zoo. So these are my decisions. I thought I was keeping the guppies, but apparently not. Apparently I'm not. I just don't have the space. Right, Meek? And then Miko probably needs attention too. So, okay. Decisions are important. Well, it kind of sets the tone for my pond season and my patio. If I don't have a guppy cup, I don't have to shush. Okay, don't forget to take this down. Plug this in. Plug the bubbles. Bubbles are important. Bubbles. Okay, back to our regularly scheduled programming. Okay, we've decided to just have one pond, the 150 gallon. I poured what I could of the remaining water from the very bottom of this. Well, I took a bucket, I used the two gallon bucket, and then I just dumped the rest in the best I could. And we're gonna fill it up a little bit more just to kind of give the plants enough water. And then we're gonna deal with plants later because we've been doing this for three and a half to four hours today and I'm tired. So we are going to um, just fill this up a little bit. Got the sponge filter on so we can hopefully keep any good bacteria and stuff. Thing. Well, I cleaned the sponge filter, but I still wanna get it going. Um, I found these creatures. I don't know if you see them. There's a glare. There he is. He kind of looks like a stick, but he moves right there. What is that? The heck is it? It's about an inch long. Then that looks like a small one. Or not. Is that alive? He was in that plant. What the heck is it? No clue. Is that good? Is it bad? I think it's pretty, I think it's bad. Anyway, I don't know. This is just the tub where the plants are sitting. And there's a bunch of water that ran out of it. I picked a bunch of snails out of it, put them back in the pot. And the wood, I am reclaiming this wood to go back inside where I intended for it to be, even though it's been outside for, I don't know, close to a year, I don't know. Um, so I'm gonna leave it out here to dry and sit in the sun and the weather. And then I'll take it inside. Yeah, that's the plan. So I think I'm probably going to get rid of the 100 gallon tub. I'm gonna clean it out, get rid of it. Um, and one of these round tubs. I think I'm gonna click, keep one of the round tubs. It's about 35 gallons is what it claims. The shelves are too small to be useful, but um, I had my mix guppies in here last year. And then I had too many plants in it. What are you doing, honey? What do you think? Uh, probably still have too many plants out here. What do you think, honey? Yep, the, a lot of the ponds are going away. Much fewer. I know, I see you. <laughs> More, fewer ponds. That's a decision. Yep. So this is probably conclusion, the conclusion of part one of Patio Ponds Summer Tubbing 2021 setup. We will reconvene whenever I get to it and weather allows. Okay, it is several days later now and we are working on getting the pond filled up a little more. I usually use zip ties to get these baskets in and well usually <laughs> I have one season of experience that's it one season so I usually use zip ties I decided not to I'll tell you one of the problems and I even drilled some of these holes some of them were already here but I even drilled some holes 
So I'll tell you what the problem was, or a, a, a challenge last summer. I um, did the zip ties through the holes in these baskets and that wasn't the problem. But the problem was the baskets were pulled up so close to the top of the of the pond. And of course I had a hundred gallon bin. This is 150 tub. <clears throat> but the baskets were so close to the top that I had to keep the water level really close to the top or the plants wouldn't be down in the water enough. But then if we had a heavy rain, it would overflow. So it was difficult to keep the plants submerged in the water at an appropriate depth. So what I'm trying to do now is I set bricks up. I set three bricks and <clears throat> try to put the plants, each of these baskets. Now I didn't really do a whole lot to these. These were in the pond through the winter with the white clouds. So I looked up what I had before and these long things, uh, where's my note? These, um, these long grassy things are called dwarf variegated sweet flag. So this is dwarf variegated sweet flag. And um, this is Creeping Jenny. This lived in the pond through the winter. Crazy. Um, and this wasn't really growing, but it stayed in the pond as well and has come back now that it's gotten warmer. And, oops, then um, this is the, um, it's a canna. It had a orange flower and I'll try to show that. Um, that is called Chiquita Punch Canna, a dwarf orange punch. And so a lot of the things I got are actually dwarf because some of these are pond plants to be used in an actual pond, not a patio pond or a tub, but an actual pond. So you kind of have to be careful not to get things that are too, too big. And I will encourage you not to, um, some of these plants really cover. Um, one thing I'm hoping comes back, uh, this is a clover plant. I don't remember what it was called. Um, and I just kind of topped these off with some aquatic soil. Um, aquatic planting media. So I just topped these off. You can tell it's kind of dry. So I'm hoping that this four, four leaf clover stuff comes back and I tried to get this, um, all this yuck out of some of the pots. Some of these pots really, really smell bad. But I was thinking about repotting them and I decided not to. I just topped off this aquatic planting soil a little bit. And I'm gonna fill this up maybe a little bit above these and see how it goes. There should be two white clouds in here. Oh, here's more of the yuck. Do we wanna take that out? I don't know, I don't know. But um, I would encourage you not to put too many plants in. I thought more was better, but in the same way when you buy landscaping plants, they're young and they're small and they're gonna grow. Uh, same thing with the with pond plants. They're young and they're small and they're going to grow. And some of these send out like runners. This uh, Creeping Jenny sends out runners all over the place. And so does, I don't know if it'll live because there's so little of it left, but so does this um, clover, four-leaf clover plant. It sends out runners. So, and, and like vines everywhere. I'll see if I can find a underwater um, video from when I didn't have green water. And the hottest part of the summer I had green water and you couldn't see anything with the underwater camera. But I'll try to show that.
the um, there is bird poo down the side of my tub <laughs> because I, I didn't realize it but the birds really do stop here and drink and some of them are I think are frustrated that the water level was low and some of them would actually I had these um, baskets just sitting on the bottom some of them I think would perch on the side of the basket and drink anyway but I'm surprised um, how many birds are stopping to drink so Anyway, why is my sponge filter not? Uh-oh, did I step on something wrong? Oh, oops. I need a new check valve. I stepped on that one. Like it's not bubbling. Anyway, I have one more thing I really want to get. So I'm trying to leave some space for that. And <clears throat> um, yeah, excited. We're going to fill this up and get on with things and I should be getting some more uh, long thin wet clouds only like two of them made it through the winter and uh, yeah so we should be getting some more hopefully soon from my LFS and we'll see how these plants continue to hopefully come back and hopefully I can get the other thing I'm wanting it's a little early in the season and we can get get that going so we will check back a little later. We gotta get the bubbles going. I think so. You good girl. <laughs> 